Well, it's the night before Thanksgiving, and in the spirit of such a storied and celebrated feast, I checked out a movie about a couple of fine young cannibals, Bones and All, starring the uh, young actors who play Judy Robinson from the Lost in Space Netflix series, and uh, the lead uh, character in the remake of Doom. And honestly, I found both characters to be painfully human. Um, the girl struggles with her need to eat people like it's an addiction, which kind of is what it is. Meanwhile, the boy, who's become numb to it, suddenly starts to feel the same kind of remorse as the girl, because he's opening his heart back up. And on the one hand, you know what they're doing is wrong, but you want to see them succeed as a couple. Throw into a mix, or throw, in, throw into the mix, uh, an elderly cannibal who's been at this quite a while and has a strange fixation on the girl. Is he in love with her? Does he see her as a daughter figure? Um, no spoilers. And <clears throat> over the course of the story, um, we find out various things about the couple, and they discover what it truly means to be what they are. And it's not an easy journey, but it has its moments. Anyway, the casting is brilliant. Everybody plays their part perfectly, and while the young couple have my sympathy throughout the film, the villain actually gains some sympathy from me by being so pathetic. Even though when he's around, you feel uneasy, like you're, like you're in the room with a predator because that's what he technically is. But not that kind of predator. You know what I mean. Hashtag Dateline. <laughs> um, the side characters, of which there are many, they add to the various uh, facets of our couple in good and bad ways. And... Um, you, you really do enjoy going on the journey with these two kids because you're hoping that at the end of the road they'll be able to kick this monstrous habit slay their demons and live happily ever after even though creatures like them possibly Wendigos or possibly just mentally ill folks are potentially doomed. Now that's kind of defeatist if the cannibalism represents uh, mental illness, but I like how the characters manage to soldier on even though they don't have a reason to do so. That's, that's a testament to how beatable mental illness is in reality. Even though it seems like it is never uh, something you can kick. And while the film itself is rather slow, it, it paces itself well. Um, it's a road trip, basically. And if you're into road trips, then this is pretty good. And if you're into gore flicks, 
it actually has plenty of gore, but not over the top. Um, it feels very real. And <clears throat> through it all, our fine young cannibals um, are basically the heroes of their own story. So yeah, um, Bones and All is a pretty decent uh, romantic horror flick with a bit of a road trip. And if uh, you see one movie this month, see the menu. But if you see two movies this month, see Bones and All after the menu. It'll be a very satisfying uh, Thanksgiving feast. This is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, happy Turkey Day. Uh, if you don't celebrate it, enjoy the day in whatever way you see fit. And if you do celebrate it, um, try not to make yourself sick. And remember, only eat the meat of a turkey. Don't eat the bones. Gobble, gobble. <laughs>